Hello everyone. I wanted to show you how to create a junction object. I recently did this for a client who had two objects. One was study groups and one was member for their members. And they needed a many to many relationship because one member could join several study groups. So I thought, well, a junction object would be the answer for that. So the first thing you do to create a junction object is you come into object manager and create a custom object. And in this case, I named the object study group to member association. I'll go ahead and go inside and, and show you here. We just labeled it study group to member association. And then in the format, I called it study group to member and decided to use a data type auto number. This way, when a member joins a study group, it can be assigned SGM for study group member and then a different number every time the member joins a study group. It just seems to be an easier way to organize. And let's see, so that's the junction object. And then what you do is create a master detail. Um, you have to create a another field, member, and it needs to be a data type of master detail. So I went ahead and created a custom member field on the junction object, and it is set up as a master detail here. And I put a little description, junction object connecting study groups to members for many to many relationship, just to be crystal clear. You can see that the master detail options, it's related to contact. We actually renamed the contact object members. And here's the list, study groups to member association. And by, and here's the child group, child relationship name. So by doing this, whenever a member is updated with a new study group that it is connected to, the junction object will work together with the master detail object to make sure that the related information from the study group will show up on the member record as well. Junction objects are very useful. Hope this helps. Thank you.